Game Studio. Hello again. We're picking up where we left off on the last demo. We've created the three spawners. Now we're going to make those spawners so they don't show up in the game scene because we don't want that. So we're going to make a new layer. We're going to call it invisible. Now the only thing under level wave settings that is ever visible is spawners. So we'll just turn the whole prefab to use that layer invisible. And then we need to go to the camera, the main camera, and turn off display of that layer invisible. They're gone. Simple as that. Let's see what we got going on with the spawners. Okay, it looks like we have single specific enemies coming out of each spawner. We want to show you a feature called prefab pools that lets you use a single spawner and spawn a bunch of different enemies out of it with weighted probabilities. So let's go to the prefab pools section. Make sure it's expanded there. We're going to call the pool mixed enemies. That's good. Create it. Click this to go there. Now let's define what is in the prefab pool. We'll add three items. Drag a prefab into each one. By default, the weight is one for each, so they'll spawn with equal probability. We're going to change it so there is six bears, three zom bunnies, and one elephant. If you add the weights together, that's ten. That means for every ten you spawn, you'll get one elephant, six zom bears, and three zom bunnies. Now we're going to make a spawner use it. To see what we're doing more clearly, let's turn off these other two spawners by telling them active mode never. Now let's go to the other spawner. Down here it says prefab type. We have it on specific. Let's change it to prefab pool. Then we just pick the pool from the list. That's it. Hit play. Let's see what we've got here. We've got one elephant, six zombies, three zombies. Perfect. Now it doesn't run out of the pool. Like if you spawn more than ten, it doesn't mean it's going to stop. It will repeat automatically. Let's double check that. Let's say we'll spawn twenty things. See what happens. Right. So sure enough, you can see the two elephants there the 12 zombies and the 6 zombunnies. This is a very flexible feature that lets you define how often something spawns compared to the other things. The killables also use it for their prefab replacement when they die. You say spawn this, death prefab. It can be a number of things all from a pool. Thank you for joining us. That's all we have this time. Stay tuned for our next video.